Hey everybody, I know it's been a while. Uh, I've been super busy just doing literally seven days of work a week. Um, so I've been working every single night, going to school five days a week. So just been super busy, but I wanted to take this time to kind of talk about the drum corn news that's been going on, especially because the past, what, like five days, we've just gotten two cores pulling out of the season, one of them just folding all together. So I think I wanted to take the time that I had because I have like, I have like two hours. I have like two hours before I got to go again. And I wanted to take the time to kind of talk about that news and flesh it out a little bit, uh, especially for those that maybe are not familiar with everything that's been going on. So we're going to do that really quickly here. Uh, we just the biggest news is the fact that cadets is suspending their competition season for 2024. Published on the cadets' website on October 13th, the article details how the Corps' fundraising efforts, quote, did not materialize as anticipated, which has led to an unsustainable financial situation and concerns about providing a quality cadets experience for 2024. In addition to this heartbreaking news, uh, CAE also announced that Vicki Ferentz Ray has resigned as the executive director. As of right now, we do not know if or in what capacity cadets will be operating as a Corps. Uh, they still have their audition stuff up. They still have posted about their staff changes and their announced staff for this coming up season. So really, we don't know if they're planning on doing some sort of season, maybe doing a few shows, or if they're just folding, or not folding, but if they're just going to not do anything altogether. They still have not really clarified as to what that's going to be. Hopefully, we get that information soon. Generally, I think that this is actually a good thing for cadets. Not the fact that they're out of money and they can't do the season, but the fact that they realized what financial situation they would be in and decided to not do that season, uh, not only for the stability of the core, but also to keep a quality experience as the foundation for what they want to do for a season. We've seen other cores, I'm not going to name names, but we have seen other cores do seasons in, in not very great financial situations and that always leads to issues with buses, not really properly feeding the members and kind of just having an unhealthy situation for membership in general. So I think it's good that we're starting to see some cores take a step back and uh, in an effort to keep members safe um, and have that as the priority. So I think that is a good thing. On to the next thing. Uh, this marks a second core to pull out of the season as this news just comes a couple days after Southwind Drum and Bugle Corps announced the cessation of core operations. Southwind, which was founded in 1980, uh, has been a member of DCI since 1990 and just recently was the open class bronze medalist for this past summer. So I think really we're looking at two cores that are pulling out of the season with one folding and it's not like these were non-prominent cores. You know, these weren't on the lower end of of not having very many members, maybe not having the greatest fundraising. These were cores that had full cores and both of them were, I mean, one of them was literally top six in DCI the past season and the other was the bronze medalist for open class. So these are not like nobody cores. These are cores that have been really like prominent in the activity in the past and currently. And it's really disappointing to kind of see that happen. Uh, but, you know, this kind of just marks the point at where we are at uh, financially in drum corps as a whole, as, as the whole activity. And we're going to get to that in a little bit. On to some older news. A little over a month ago, Santa Clara Vanguard have officially announced that they were planning a return to 2024. However, there's still some problems that are being called into question. First off is that per DCI rules, uh, members that have not competed uh, or made appearances in the previous season may not return as full members for the next season. There are some exceptions to this rule we saw for that, uh, for example, with Spirit of Atlanta, who took an entire season off in 2022. However, they were on probation and that allowed them to do so. So, you know, there's we're, we're not really officially seeing what's happening, but it seemed to be backed up by this Reddit post by you slash Blue Jay Specialist 298, who gave live updates from the Vampa Board of Directors meeting where they confirmed that Santa Clara Vanguard will be performing as a non-member core for 2024. However, we still have no official confirmation onto whether or not that will be the case. And additionally, um, you know, kind of moving past the member non-member situation, many are calling it the fact that Santa Clara Vanguard is still not 
uh, sorry, Santa Clara Vanguard is still delinquent on their registration as a charity with the state of California. And so technically cannot legally operate as a charity slash nonprofit. Uh, that is kind of the biggest situation I think a lot of people are missing. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll put a link down in the description for to where you can find that information. But Santa Clara Vanguard has not been officially registered as a charity nonprofit in the state of California. And I believe that's since March 15th, 2020. And I'll, you know, blow that up on the screen so you guys can see exactly that information. Uh, generally, you know, all of the news so far can be related to the idea that the sustainability of the activity is not sustainable. <laughs> the rising cost of food and gas, among a whole bunch of other things, are now at the point where they're really causing entire entire cores to fold, like we saw with Southwind and uh, last year with Louisiana Stars, although that was not official and we don't have an announcement with Louisiana Stars. However, they've just kind of ceased operations and there's been no announcement as to whether they'll be back or when that will be. Uh, and lastly, we have the announcement of the new CEO of DCI, Nate Boudreau. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong, who will be taking that position on November 1st down from Dan Atchison. Uh, he has some experience leading other sport-based uh, organizations and the hope is that he can kind of come into our activity and turn the business model into something more sustainable. However, there is a lot of doubt coming towards Nate as he has no experience or familiarity with the culture of drum corps as an activity. We can only really hope that with Nate's experience, he can lead drum corps to not only become a more uh, stable activity, but also take the activity to grow and flourish, especially, you know, we've seen in the past, there was hundreds of drum corps and now we really have like 20 or something like that competing in world class. So all of that kind of just leads to the idea that drum corps is not currently sustainable and there are some cores that are doing very well for themselves but there's a lot of cores that are kind of going by literally year to year you know with their fundraising efforts and that kind of thing so i think generally we need to reevaluate how drum corps can be sustainable and maybe turn the business model or the tour model into something that allows all cores to compete relatively easily and not only that, it's not just about drum course competing, but it's also about tour fees in general. I had the very, I was very lucky to pay about the same tour fees every single season that I competed in. But uh, the tour fees now, even just a year after I aged out, have gotten to the point where I have basically stopped recommending drum corps to a lot of the kids that I work with. Obviously, there are those that I still recommend it to, but it's just not something that general i would say middle class kids can afford and parents can afford i mean it's just really not sustainable for students especially like people can't work full time to pay four to five six thousand dollars in tour fees every single summer and so i think reevaluating the structure of how a dci season would work is not only going to create something that's more sustainable for course to operate year after year but allow more kids to kind of join into the activity. So it's not just a rich kids activity or you can't do college because you're working full time to go pay for drum corps. There's a lot of back and forth there. That was a weird camera, fl camera flash. Uh, there's a lot of back and forth there. And I think that that's the main thing that needs to be reevaluated for the next coming season. It's not just this coming up season, but four five, six years in advance, uh, we kind of really need to be looking at, at, what decisions we're making and how they're going to affect the tour. That's all I have for the news. There are plenty of other things that are going on, a lot of staff announcements, but I'm just not going to really go into all of that. I'm going to maybe do this kind of video a little bit more often, especially if there's a lot of big headlines that are coming out. I think it's content that needs to be kind of brought out, and I think it's good for to take it and just kind of push it into one little collective video. I'm sorry I didn't go into full depth in a lot of things. I only have like an hour before I have to go now. So hopefully this helps. Other than that, that's going to be it. One thing before I leave, again, I apologize for not posting or even giving any updates. I did get COVID, and then after I got COVID, I kind of just stopped uploading in general. And that was not because I would just would got bored or didn't know what to do. I literally have been working seven days a week. So I'm going to get back into it probably, hopefully in late November, I can kind of get back into pushing out maybe weekly or bi-weekly videos. I'm not going to try to push a whole bunch of things on, out at once. A lot of people are recommending that I make an upload schedule. And I don't know if I'm going to do an upload schedule, but I think when I do get in the habit of just making little bursts of a whole bunch of videos at once, 
I'm going to kind of stagger the releases of those videos that I'm not doing every three days because that's really not sustainable for me to be doing those kinds of videos. And I think it'll be better for you guys if you have time to kind of everybody absorbs this one video before I release the next one. That way you guys don't get overloaded with content as well. Other than that, there's a few other things that are going to be in the works. I'm planning on hopefully buying some equipment to take with me on tour. I will be around during the season. So if you guys want to see some hornline videos or some drumline videos, just, you know, let me know what kind of content you guys want to see. You know, maybe I'll vlog the season. I'm not really sure what I want to do yet. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. I have no clue when that'll be. And I'm sorry that I don't have a date for that or what video that's going to be. There is some stuff in the works, I promise. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.